really like in my job is the, uh, the international side of it. I mean, we, we basically work on different countries. I mean, in one single day, I can be working in different projects, uh, one in Tunisia, one in Egypt, and one in, in Turkey. It's a mix of technical job and as well as uh, networking and communication uh, with partners when we have some, uh, with the subsidiaries and the headquarters and also people from each government of the country I'm working for. driver waiting for us outside. Um, we're going to start in a meeting with um, one of our joint venture company in Cairo. It's about half an hour driving from here, depending on traffic. Uh, traffic can be pretty bad here in Cairo, so it can easily be a, a lot longer. Then we will um, have lunch and then go to a different meeting afterwards. Um, then we have another meeting at 3 o'clock and hopefully we'll finish the day about 6, I hope. It will be a good meeting, and we're flying tomorrow. Uh, one of the skills you need to have to do this job, I think, uh, and the best way you can is to have interpersonal skill. Uh, you need to be able to uh, listen to people a lot, um, be available and understand what are the needs of the people you are, you are working with. Um, you need to be very relaxed, very open-minded, and, um, and in this environment, I, I don't think being a woman is very different than being a man, really. Uh, I think the, the qualities are just the same for everybody. Be good at communicating and listening to people. <laughs> Frank offices are in the heart of Chelsea, which is for me one of the best uh, areas of London. It's very lively, um, it's full of shopping for lunchtime, it's uh, full of pubs, nice restaurants, um, it's definitely one of the best uh, locations for me. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Have you received a lot of yeah. One of the projects I'm, I'm working on is basically developing uh, offshore North Sinai uh, asset, which is part of the, um, the Egypt. So basically it's located about here, it's north of Cairo. Uh, on this asset we have three fields here and we are currently looking at developing tow as a, as a first field. On this field there's already two wells which have been drilled a couple of years ago and we basically took some measurement on this well in order to get some, um, some idea of what we can find in the reservoir. So these measurements are what we call logs and they're here and they're basically telling us where is the, the reservoir and uh, if we have any gas in it. Yeah, because of the fracture however we will perforate there because it's, it's fracture free if we look here basically, that's, that's I think. Yeah, I really think that's, that's his plan. I don't really spend a lot of time offshore at all on the platform or anything like this. My, my job is really now to coordinate the project. Um, as a reservoir engineer, you would do that, but as, as a geoscience coordinator, you actually spend more time either in the office uh, running some calculation, doing some simulation, or preparing some presentation that you will have to do to partners or to um, any, any company you work with. If we look on the map, just between two folds, which could be what they, uh, but they are here. model as a channel, and they want yeah. to hit here, but why? How can they tell that it is a better uh, 
location that you don't have another fault. So. Yeah. It's yeah. up there, yeah. and uh, one year after or so. It was amazing. Really amazing. Well, I, I can check on their sites, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. And that uh, that could be fun because 